Hi, I am Kalyan Reddy Daida and I will be your instructor in this course Terraform on AWS EKS Kubernetes 50 real world demos. In this course, we are going to first start with learning the Terraform fundamentals. And once we are good with the Terraform concepts, we'll move on with learning the Kubernetes fundamentals. And once we are good with these Kubernetes fundamentals, we'll focus on implementing a AWS VPC three-tier network. And this we are going to create using Terraform. After that, we will create AWS EC2 Bastion host in public subnets using Terraform. And once this is completed, we'll go ahead and then create a EKS cluster with public and private node groups. Once these three sections Terraform code is completed, we'll focus on implementing a simple Kubernetes deployment and service using Terraform Kubernetes provider. And we are going to test it. Once everything is working, we'll go ahead and then learn the concepts like Terraform remote state storage. And once we learn that concept, we'll move on and then understand about AWS EKS IRSA concept and implement that concept. AWS IRSA is nothing but AWS IAM roles for Kubernetes service accounts. This is a very, very important concept from AWS EKS IAM and Kubernetes service accounts perspective. So we have a dedicated demo for this and same IRSA concept will be used in EBS CSI controller, EFS CSI controller, load balancer controller, external DNS controller, in many controllers, same concept is used. For that purpose, we have a dedicated demo and which is automated using Terraform. So we are going to learn that. From there, we'll move on to Kubernetes storage, EBS CSI, Elastic Block Store CSI controller. And here we are going to do five demos in this section. And from there, we'll move on to EFS CSI, Elastic File System CSI controller. And here also, we will implement four demos and from there we'll move on to EKS load balancer controller. Here we will implement 17 demos with ingress application load balancers and also Kubernetes service with network load balancers. And from there we'll move on to EKS IAM where we are going to implement seven demos here and understand about the EKS in combination with AWS IAM how it is going to work. After EKS IAM, we'll also implement EKS forget three demos. So here we are going to run our work, uh, workloads, Kubernetes workloads on forget, which is serverless. And inside this, we are also going to have one important demo, which is running entire our EKS cluster on forget only. So that is another very, very important demo, which we should be aware of running everything Fargate only EKS cluster you can say and that also we have automated with Terraform and then implemented it here. And next is auto scaling. So from auto scaling perspective we have implemented cluster auto scaler, horizontal pod auto scaler and vertical pod auto scaler all using Terraform. And finally we have also implemented EKS monitoring and logging with CloudWatch agent and Fluent Bit. Here also, we have ensured that first we will implement everything manually and understand in detail, and then we will automate it with Terraform so that we get a complete picture on EKS monitoring and logging, how it is working with CloudWatch agent and Fluent Bit. For all these sections, we have a GitHub step-by-step -step documentation. So you can see from section 01 onwards, you can see for each and every demo, we have a detailed section in our GitHub and everything is documented till section 55. And if you see how are Terraform projects organized in our GitHub. So this is one of the example for that to understand. Let's consider one demo here, 31 EKS external DNS with ingress service. So here you can see total five projects are there, 01 EKS cluster Terraform manifest, which it is going to have the complete EKS cluster Terraform project where you will have the EC2 Bastion host and you will have the uh, 
IEM related configurations and also EKS cluster related configurations and everything whatever is related to EKS cluster everything will be there inside this 01 EKS cluster Terraform manifest. So you can see all these are Terraform configs which are built step by step incrementally in this project. And if you see here the second project is 02 LBC install Terraform manifest. And third project is 03 external DNS install Terraform manifest. So 02 LBC install Terraform manifest is nothing but load balancer controller for, inst for implementing ingress in our EKS cluster we need to install the load balancer controller. So installing the load balancer controller related automation is done in project 02 LBC install Terraform manifest. And for implementing the external DNS we need the external DNS controller to be installed. So that related co configurations are present in 03 external DNS. And 05 ingress external DNS Terraform manifest is our sample application which we have implemented in Terraform, right? Which is whenever you deploy that ingress service, it will create the ingress service which is application load balancer and also it will DNS register the entries present in that ingress service in our AWS Route 53. So it's equivalent in 04 cube manifest, whatever you are seeing in 05 in Terraform format, equivalent you will also see in Kubernetes YAML format also in 04 cube manifest ingress external DNS. So that's the reason we are saying here four Terraform projects and one YAML project. So not only Terraform, you are also going to see how that entire code for that respective sample application is also present in YAML format. And now let's see those projects. AWS load balancer controller project which is 0 to LBC install Terraform manifest and it's Terraform configurations. And if you see AWS external DNS Terraform project 03 external DNS install Terraform manifest, you can see its configurations here. And ingress plus external DNS YAML project, you can see 04 cube manifest ingress external DNS, how it is organized, you can see it here. And finally, you can see the 05 ingress external DNS Terraform manifest. So here you are going to have three applications with context path based routing enabled for them with the ingress service and with SSL certificate and also with external DNS. In short, every AWS EKS demo is automated with Terraform and also every Terraform project is organized in GitHub and contains a step by step documentation. As part of Kubernetes storage in AWS EKS, let's see what all demos we have implemented. So from EBS CSI controller and from EFS CSI controller perspectives. In EBS CSI controller perspective, we'll have a demo which is automated using Terraform to install the EBS CSI controller on EKS. And after that, we'll have the Kubernetes sample app with EBS volumes in YAML manifest. We will review them, understand, and those manifests, we will convert them to Terraform. So we'll learn to write the code in Terraform also for the e for the equivalent. And finally, we'll also learn EBS volumes resizing. We'll do one more demo for EBS volumes resizing and also EBS CSI install using EKS add-on. So there is one more option available to install the EBS CSI on EKS, not only using Helm release using Terraform, but also using EKS add-on. So we are also going to implement this. And from EFS CSI controller perspective, we will install the EFS CSI controller on EKS with Terraform and we are also going to implement use cases like static provisioning using EFS and dynamic provisioning using EFS. And also we are going to run means like even this is a EFS thing, we will check whether it is going to work on Fargate workloads where AWS EFS file systems are mounted on Fargate workloads or not, we are going to test it. That one also we are going to check with both static and dynamic provisioning. From there, we'll move on to EKS auto scaling monitoring and logging. From auto scaling perspective, we will install the cluster auto scaler related controller on EKS and we'll go ahead and then test it. And from horizontal pod auto scaler, we will implement a sample app and then test it. 
for vertical pod autoscaler we need to first install the vertical pod autoscaler related components and after that we need to test it so we'll do two demos for vertical pod autoscaler and from monitoring and logging we will first implement eks monitoring and logging using cloudwatch agent and fluent bit using kubectl and after that we'll also automate that with terraform and when coming to eks iam demos so we have seven demos implemented here and from iam perspective we have used iam user iam groups iam roles iam policies and from kubernetes perspective we have used the kubernetes config maps role binding role cluster role binding and cluster roles first what we are going to do is we are going to provision a simple aws iam admins as eks admins or iam basic user as eks admin and test it and we are going to automate those section 19 and 20 in section 21 with terraform so first we will manually implement and then learn it and then automate it and we will move on to provisioning eks admins with aws iam roles and iam groups first we will manually implement this concept and then we will move on and then automate it in section 22 so here we are provisioning one user at a time right and it becomes complex in managing that in aws auth config map so we will use the iam groups concept here and implement it which means if you have even 100 users those 100 users you just add it to your iam group and everything should work so for that concept to work we need to implement multiple things and all those multiple things we are going to implement in these two demos so here we have provisioned eks admins with aws iam roles and iam groups here we will provision eks read only users with iam roles and iam groups wherein we are also going to use kubernetes cluster role and cluster role binding concepts in this section after that we'll also have a use case where a developer requesting full access to a namespace like dev in eks cluster and in addition he is also asking for read only access to the eks cluster so that also we are going to implement with kubernetes role kubernetes role binding kubernetes cluster role and cluster role binding so all these iam demos we are going to implement and from eks load balancer perspective load balancer controller perspective we are going to have first demo with load balancer controller installer automated with terraform and after that we will implement demos like ingress basics ingress context path based routing ingress ssl and ssl redirect all these things using terraform kubernetes provider all in terraform language only and after that we will also implement ingress cross namespaces and after that we will also implement external dns install ingress plus external dns and kubernetes service plus external dns we will also implement ingress name based virtual hosting ssl discovery host ssl discovery tls ingress groups and ingress target type ip and ingress internal alb so these 14 demos we are going to implement for aws application load balancer with kubernetes ingress service using terraform kubernetes provider and provided first we install the aws load balancer controller on our eks cluster so these are the 14 demos for ingress and for the same aws load balancer controller for aws network load balancer with kubernetes objects as kubernetes service we are going to first implement network load balancer basics and also we will implement the network load balancer tls plus external dns which means in kubernetes service we are going to implement network load balancer related tls annotations and external dns annotations and finally we will also implement the network load balancer internal lb and all these things we are going to do using terraform kubernetes provider and everything in terraform language only after that we will also implement aws fargate so eks fargate profiles we are going to create and run kubernetes workloads on fargate after that we will also create a fargate only eks cluster which means if you create a eks cluster it will have the 
codeDNS running inside that. That codeDNS pod also you need to migrate to Fargate. And in addition to that, whatever you deploy to cube system namespace, those also need to run in Fargate. At that point, you can say that respective cluster is a Fargate only EKS cluster. So that demo also we are going to do in detail. And Terraform providers we will use as part of this entire automation is AWS, Kubernetes, kubectl, helm, null and then HTTP. So these six providers we are going to primarily use as part of this overall project. This is the course GitHub repository where we have the step by step documentation and also all the Terraform projects stored. So please make a note of this course GitHub repository.